Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Tyler with our sky view camera. We are seeing mostly clear skies to begin our day today. It's a very warm start yet again. 84 degrees the temperature with a south southwesterly wind at 13 miles per hour. So we do have a bit of a breeze for us this morning with a dew point of 72. So it's also pretty humid out there. Now for our day today, we are going to see uh, a lot of sunshine with some passing clouds, especially in northern areas where we will have a chance of a pop up shower or a thunderstorm later on today but most of us are going to be dry. But keep that eye to the sky if you're north of Interstate 20, say up to Gilmer, places like Dangerfield, up to Mount Pleasant as well. We'll see those high temperatures in the lower 100s this afternoon with the heat index as high as 115. So that is some dangerous heat out there. Make sure to take it seriously and stay hydrated and limit that time spent outdoors, especially during the heat of the day. If you have to work outdoors, remember to take those frequent breaks. Now the future heat index by 4 p.m. looks like this, generally between about 108 and 115 out there in the afternoon. The cooler air will be along Interstate 30 where there will be a bit more cloud cover and that chance of a storm. The most humid air will be down into deep east Texas, so that's where it's going to feel the hottest to your body. Now over the next seven days, temperature wise, we are going to be staying above the average high of 96 degrees. In fact, we are going to continue to climb as we head into the end of this work week all the way up to 105 for the high temperature on Friday, which will be the hottest day of the next seven. Even as rain chances return this weekend, we're still going to see those high temperatures into the triple digits and looking farther ahead with the six to 10 day temperature outlook valid from this coming weekend through the start of next week. We still look to see a good chance of above average temperatures across the area, especially south of Interstate 20 uh, in areas where we need the rain the most. And so uh, we need that heat to back off a little bit as well so we can get that uh, that thunderstorm activity to move on in. But unfortunately, rain chances will be limited for the next seven days. Here is your seven day forecast. We are going to see a pop up shower or thunderstorm today, tonight and Tuesday for areas north of Interstate 20. And then we are going to stay hot and dry to end the work week. And as we head into the weekend, we will see the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms returning, especially on Sunday for deep east Texas. It's more of the same, although lower rain chances this week. In fact, non-existent for Monday and Tuesday. The fire weather concerns increases on Wednesday as winds pick up out of the south at 20 miles per hour. We stay hot and dry to the start of the weekend with ice isolated showers and storms by Sunday. Well, with how intense the heat has been this summer, it only has me thinking about how this winter is going to turn out. <laughs> uh, but basically, those temperatures mean stay indoors until November 1st. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like we will see any big cool downs probably until we get uh, closer to fall. So. All right, Andrew. Well, keep a water source nearby and don't light anything on fire. Yes. All right, Andrew, thank you. And here's something you should know.